Hello again, and thank you for joining Jeff and Jenny's Classic Restorations. Well, today um, I've already filmed it, um, and it wasn't that successful. Um, it was supposed to be the the end of the mobilette today, uh, finishing that off, and hopefully getting a start. Um, but as you can see, we had a few problems. But uh, that will be it for the mobilette. Um, I will come back with an update once I've got these little things that you'll see coming up um, sorted, um, and uh, and then I'll show you that when it's perhaps on the road. Um, Jenny, she's about, but um, you'll see her in a minute. So uh, come and see how I got on. It's not very well, but uh, it's nothing major, but I just need a little bit of extra time. But I just need to get this one finished cosmetically. So come and have a look and see how I got on. Well, as I say, we're hoping to go for a start up today. And <clears throat> I also managed to get the other panel done eventually. I took that right back to the fiberglass panel and that's actually come up nice now so we at least we've got that done um, I did have one problem which may prevent starting up today um, if you look down here there's the decompression uh, valve and uh, if you look at when you push to turn the handle you can see there's plenty of movement there to do it but just down there it's basically not doing enough to push the valve down so um, you, you've not got that uh, lack, of, you've got the compression. When you turn it over, you've got the full compression. So we may have a bit of difficulty there. Um, I've got some petrol now made up, which is 34 to one. So we'll try and get some of that in a minute and hopefully that doesn't leak. Uh, so whatever happens, we'll try and go for a start. Uh, and then um, if, if there's problems like leaking fuel and things like that, I'm going to call it a day on this cosmetically and I will come back with an update later on but uh, we're just going to finish off today with this video hopefully it will start if I can get uh, I'll have to go against the compression but uh, there's a few I've ordered some bits for that uh, decompression lever there so a new spring and that so it's cosmetically it's done last week another problem I had was the rear wheel I had a puncture which uh, I, I I did get a, 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 a tube from Halfords, which wasn't much good. That was just over Christmas. But I've now got the proper um, mo moped one in there. So that's uh, stayed up overnight, thank God. So let's get some petrol in it and see if we can get anything out of it. Well, I'll just put uh, about I don't know, half a litre of fuel in there, uh, just in case it all leaks out, which would be my luck. So um, hopefully this is going to let fuel through. We'll just see what happens. Yeah, there we go. Make sure it doesn't leak anywhere. This is what would normally happen. Okay, well, I'll touch with it at the moment. We're okay. Right, as I say, I'm going to have trouble with this compression thing. Um, I'm going to also, I bought some of this today, some easy start. So that'll help give it a, a little bit of a head start. Let's see if we can get it in there somewhere. Okay, so let's go. Let's see what happens. I'll try a little bit of this decompression thing and a bit of choke and see what happens. Actually, I'll switch that over first to the pedal. There we go. Right, let's see what happens. Nothing at the moment. Try a bit more spray. Oh no, there we go. Leaking already. Where's that coming from? That might be the spray. Bear with me again. Well, I'm sorry. It's not going to happen today. A um, couple of problems. Uh, the problem with this pedal, uh, I've got another, um, uh, the cotter pin is not very good. I'm going to sort that one out. There's a little fuel leak up by, actually, the, I think it's actually the tap itself, which needs sorting out. There's a small leak on the carburetor, nothing too bad, but we can come back to that. So there's just going to be too much for me to do today to sort of get it running. So I do apologise, and I'm still waiting for the um, springs and that to, to sort this decompression lever out, which will certainly help. So I'm sorry, I'll have to leave it at that. We will call it a day on this uh, moped now. I've got lots of little bits to get on with. Uh, there's no point seeing all that on film. So basically, this is where it left us. 
um, when we first started um, and I'm going to do a few before and after shots and uh, at least it's done cosmetically and I've temporarily put these panels on they, I've got the proper screws but I've just put them in there now just to give it that finished look so uh, got a little bit more to do um, and then I will do an update once it's up and running again we'll do you an update well as I said I do apologize I was hoping to get this up and running I had the puncher on the back I sorted out there's always going to be something when you recommission, sort of recommission something, but uh, it's nothing too serious, the, the leaks, I'm sure I'm going to sort that out, I might have to take the tank off again. But it's all, uh, we don't want to be going backwards on video, so we will call it a day uh, on this one, cosmetically. Uh, just a little bit of tinkering to do, which I'll do off camera. So, um, as I say, in a moment, uh, I'll, if you want to just hang on, I'll show you a few before and after shots. And then that would be it for the mobile app, but I will come back and uh, give you an update once things are back to normal. So uh, you take care, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.